this is no time for you to be entertaining monitoring spirits the year will end up the same in 2023 is because you do not want to intensify your praying life and one thing that i want to tell you guys is that god is not an idiot and god is not a fool whenever you make a promise to god make sure that you fulfill it when god tells us that you are meant for something and you say no you're only delaying yourself because today we are pretty much going to be touching on the concepts of walking in obedience that's number one and the importance of discernment there's challenges guys and then there's challenges where it's like right now the the devil's literally like laughing he's having a party on some you keep going through the same thing you keep praying but your god is not showing up for you and he's literally having a bash like he's literally laughing on some where's your god now gonna try and sit comfortably because it's sunday and sunday has ended tomorrow's monday you're going back to work the stress begins and the weekend is done just like that stressful if you ask me nonetheless hi everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to another video so I'm starting a new series on my channel called the week of the anointed that is literally what i'm going to call the series like if you've watched um if you've been watching my youtube videos there was a time i actually mentioned that i'm starting a new series on my channel especially that vlog where i bought a new back book i literally spoke about this more and i was like i want to start a new series on my channel which is just basically recapping on the week and telling you guys how god showed up for me in that particular week and that is what's going to happen here the week of the anointed because i feel like you conquer with the blood of the lamb and the power of the testimony but yeah um i'm literally gonna be sharing my week i'm really trying to make this as practical as i possibly can like the walk with god is practical as much as i can because i literally thought of just doing like a series of bible studies and something like that but now i'm just like actually i am not gonna do that i'm literally just going to um reflect on the week and pretty much tell you guys how god showed up um for me and i'm just gonna share this every single sunday because it makes sense on a sunday literally like it makes sense because really trying to make this as practical as i possibly can by the way my name is Mabun claire truly love the lord with all my heart and my soul got born again last year november the fourth it's just truly been a beautiful walk ever since um so, honestly this series was supposed to start in the new year and first and foremost happy new year guys my vlogs are a bit behind they just gonna be mixed up okay we're gonna go forward then backwards but we're just gonna try and do it one way or another and i feel like this is also one of the ways in which i can try to be consistent on my channel and at least have something if i'm not gonna have a vlog up the least that i could do is literally have this up that's the least i could do I really want to with this video pretty much share um stuff that have happened prior to everything that i'm gonna share so i'm just gonna try to make this a series like i said and then reflect on the week share with you guys the things that have happened um to me and how god has shown up for me and basically just sharing the importance of certain principles that the bible touches on and things that you truly find to be fundamental with your walk with god such as your obedience discernment all of it and those are the two things that i want to touch on in today's video and like i said as we go on we're going to start navigating different principles like gratitude thanksgiving generosity so on and so forth <laughs> the importance of prayer like all these things as life goes on um but like i said all of that is going to tie into how the week turned out and i feel like this also filming this is also helping me in my journey with god because then it like literally makes me like sit down and basically reflect on how god pulled up for me this week because you know we always pray like god i need you to be with me in this particular thing and you don't feel god um in the present moment but once you actually start sitting and you reflect on these particular things that's when you start realizing that in fact god has been with me this whole time like literally and that is what i'm also trying to show you guys with the series that god is a man of his word when he says i will not forsake you it doesn't mean when life is good god is with you and then when things get rocky and life gets challenging that god has left you that's all a lie <laughs> anyways with that being said let's actually just get started with what i actually want to talk about today like i said for today's video i'm actually going to reflect on things that have happened um 
recent events that have happened i'm not going to reflect on the week as yet because i feel like in order for me to reflect on this week it has to start somewhere for you guys to understand <laughs> how we got here presently this week to this week so obviously what had happened this past week that i want to reflect on is stuff that you're gonna see in the next few videos coming up hopefully next week but before that i just want to pretty much share recent events that have happened in my life and probably you guys will obviously resonate with it to a certain extent but let's touch on it without any waste of time let me dive right into it short. there's a testimony that i actually want to share and i've been saying this a whole lot because i feel like the only way this will work is if i share a three-part testimony on how god has given me my job and i keep saying this so many times so i actually need to film the three videos which obviously it's going to be videos following each other um to how god has given me my job the reason why i haven't done that is because i feel like there's just so much that goes into it um that will honestly make sense to how god has given me this job because it's like a whole promise and then the preparation happened and then you know and it's years apart so it's not something that i could literally cut in shorts and have a 22 minute video up and it's like yeah guys this is my testimony my testimony is long <laughs> and there's literally a whole lot of things that tie into it to basically get to where we are now but hey the story is that recently okay no well not recently but um i actually went through a test at some time and like i said to you guys i literally got baptized on the 4th of november and because of how my 2022 yeah because of how my 2022 turned out i feel like that was a starting point where i just truly really felt like god could ne not let go of me i don't know how i could put it but you know when you're called to something bigger and better and the life that you're choosing to live is not matching up to what God has in store for you. And then you reach a point where God calls you. Like he, he's, he's at this point in time, you could literally have people like correcting you and stuff like that. And then you have a point in your life where God calls you on some, listen dude, I'm calling you right now. <laughs> like if you're not going to listen to all those people that I keep sending to you, that's fine. They can get tired. But me on the other hand, I'm a step in. When they tired, I step in. So I feel like the year 2022 was that kind of year for me where God was literally calling me. And I think I went through a season of preparation. But like I said, once I share the testimony, I'm going to dive into these things in deep. But with this testimony that I'm going to share with you guys, I feel like that's literally how I literally realized how real God is. And not to say that you don't know that God is real. I mean, you do know, but it, it's really different when you know that God is real and when you start experiencing this, these things that you know, like in real life, like literally where you see that this cannot be done by man. You know, like this is God, like this is a higher power, you know? Um, so I feel like for me, that says to me that I'm going to share with you guys is like one of the things that I truly just want to share with you guys. I've had a lot of incidents where I know that this was God, but I think because at that time, like I was a lukewarm Christian, I didn't really have like a broader understanding of like how God operates. So it's things that could happen. Yes, for sure. But you, to some extent, you're not fully aware that that is God as compared to like working on your spirituality and growing spiritual and becoming like spiritually matured. And then when things happen, that's where you realize that in fact, this is God so that is what I just want to show you guys but with how I actually got my job because I really like at that time like I activated my faith like hard getting into my testimony I feel like at work I've just genuinely had like difficult times and by difficult times I mean difficult times where I feel like you know like when you praise God guys with your heart and your soul and then you end up facing obstacles in your life where you could also feel like you know what the devil is literally laughing at me right now on some ways you're God now you know what I mean like I don't know if I'm the only one experiences those things but there's challenges guys and then there's challenges where it's like right now that the devil's literally like laughing he's having a party on some you keep going through the same thing you keep praying but your God is not showing up for you and he's literally having a bash like he's literally laughing on some ways you got now and that's what i mean by i've had challenges like i've had serious challenges when it comes to my work and i think um that has been happening for like six months and the more the time goes the worse things got right and by worse to a point where my health was even in jeopardy right I know it's crazy but anyways follow through with what i'm saying right now 
a person has strength to keep going to a certain extent like you grow tired you grow weary these things happen you you're literally gonna want to quit at some point because of how tired you are and it's like god take me out of situ the situation god take charge of you, you understand what i'm saying and the more you pray that prayer nothing is changing instead things just get worse i was at that point where things got worse to a point where it was affecting my health and one thing about me that i've always said is that regardless of whatever it is that happens in my life i will never stop believing in god like there's nothing in this world that could happen, good or bad, whatever, that will make me stop believing in God. And I've literally had the worst of the worst things happen to me in the past, guys. And by worst of, I mean the worst of the worst. And I think that is literally how I became like a lukewarm Christian, finding myself starting to float with life. All these things happening to me, you know, like all of it, suffering from mental health, all of it. Like there's literally nothing a person could literally tell me that I probably haven't been through. Like. I know these things you know what i'm saying and i think to a certain extent like i'm truly grateful for all of that because then those are the things that have helped me to literally build like a stronger relationship with god like i know life without christ and i know life with christ and that is exactly what i'm living right now and i feel like comparing the two if i were to experience challenges then they'd crush me and if i were to experience difficult challenges now I don't grow weary like I swear guys I don't know how I could put it like yes I'm dying you know that verse that speaks about how the flesh dies out outward but your spirit is being renewed inward and I feel like the scriptures that I'm making reference to I will honestly put them in the screen on the screen but that's literally how it feels it feels like something in you is happening internally as you experience these things in the past i felt like my spirit was being crushed and that's what i mean by i was dying <laughs> you know and it's like god just does a new thing every single time you experience these things and obviously it's very difficult for you to see these things when you're in the midst of these challenges but long story cut short by the way i'm literally a person who doesn't give up i can tell you guys that for free like you could literally put me in the hottest of the hottest fire and i will come out like a bit nigel shadrach and meshach <laughs> I kid you not <laughs> I don't you could literally put me anywhere I do not give up but I'm never a person who leaves things midway if I start something I will finish it regardless of how hard it is regardless of how challenging it is regard I'm not a quitter and I feel like God has never created me to be that in my midst of exhaustion like I keep pressing forward which is so crazy because that's what they were talking about in church today bro it's so crazy like today's service at church was keep pressing this pastor spoke about how no matter what happened like 2023 could have crushed you you could have lost your job last year and whatever the case is but keep pressing towards god keep pressing in terms of your faith like have stubborn faith he made reference to mark 9 if i'm not mistaken verse 1 to 7 but we'll talk about that towards the end let me tell you guys my story because today we are pretty much going to be touching on the concepts of walking in obedience that's number one and the importance of discernment two things that i truly want to touch on and these are the things that i've learned in the past few weeks i'm literally starting with the story now i feel like god had literally called me into accounting and that's something that i've never wanted in my life like if anything i was aware of that and i would always run away from it like it was just something i never wanted with my heart and soul and um it took me so much work in fact it took god so much work like when i think about my story i resonate so much to moses jonah um all these people that have been called you jeremiah all of them i resonate to the stories in the bible because i am one of them <laughs> Dude, your call for this and god has been calling me year after year sending me different people year after year time after time and still i would just not be shaken by it i would be like my answers no and i am not going to change my mind and we are never touching on this again like people would try to talk to me about it to a point where they would get tired and when this person gets tired god sends someone else to a point where god's people got so exhausted like his list was so exhausted that there was literally no one else he could use 
and God decided right now I have to calm down and speak to her because I am dead serious now and we are running out of time. But the point that I'm trying to make is that in our lives we're so quick to preach about God having favorites and stuff like that but we never actually sit down with ourselves and actually think about the delay that we cause ourselves in our lives. When God tells us that you are meant for something and you say no, you're only delaying yourself. That is the thing and we'd always pray about not being able to exp or basically pray or preach about not experiencing God's favor where is this God that you guys speak about he's literally there it's just that you're not listening that's the thing you're not open to hearing or walk you're not open to walking in obedience and that's the honest truth and I just really want to tell you guys an interesting story I had literally started experiencing challenges and I feel like one thing that I've learned in the midst of all these challenges that I experienced by work is that the devil targets you the most when you are tired <laughs> you see in that time where you're so fed up and you're so exhausted your strength is done you have nothing left in you that is when the devil strikes and in most cases he succeeds because of how tired you are and i want to share a story of what happened with me and this is why i literally want you when you pray tonight and as you navigate the new week that you pray for the spirit of discernment that you pray for god to protect you from the unseen and the seen that you literally pray for the spirit of discerning one of the gifts that the holy spirit gives us is the gift of discerning spirits i pray tonight that you would pray to discern spirits anyways as you tackle this year i want you to keep these few things in mind because there's going to be times where you're going to be tired and I want you to pray for the discernment because it is that discernment that kicks in when you're tired. I swear. Story cut short. Let me share my story with you guys. The sun is setting. So let me get to the point. Um, there was a point in time at work. Like I told you guys, I've been experiencing so many challenges. My situation just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And I honestly pray to God, God, get me out of the situation. ASAP. I mean business. Like get me out of here. <laughs> Um, and my situation would keep getting worse and worse and I'd find myself crying all the time like crying Entering into meetings get out and crying and by crying I mean like you know when you try to get it together when people speak to you and you're just there like <laughs> And they're like, oh by the way, um You know speak about a deadline and you're just like Yeah, but um and you're trying to pull it together and you, you, you get me you get me So this is how my weeks have been and so obviously the devil thought this is the perfect time for me to do it. By the way, long story cut short, I've always been a person who has been passionate about tech. Um, when it comes to literally studying anything, I would always study something in tech. When it comes to doing short courses, I would do short courses in tech. The other week, I was doing a short course in chatbots, about chatbots. Literally, I was just doing a short course about chatbots. Like... I'm just that girl. If tech is involved, I'm doing it. I'm doing that qualification. Say no more. Like I am so passionate about tech and I've always desired to be in fintech. I told my friend this and it hasn't happened. And to be honest, I'm not in a rush for that. But um, the industry that I work in and tech, they're not too far apart, but obviously the industry has not yet utilized tech. And I don't know. I don't know if the. F I, 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 Honestly, I don't know guys. I feel like everything that I've ever desired for myself, I just never get it. You know, like my life is that life that always takes a plot twist. Like I could start a year and be like, God, this year, <laughs> this year, God, we are going to do this. I'm going to accomplish this, this, this and that. And God says, oh, well, darling, we will see. My years are always like that. There's always a plot twist. Like they never turn out the way that I've planned it. And in Proverbs 16 verse 9, where it's like we can make all the plans but it is the lord that decides i lived through that verse 2021 because i experienced the worst like god broke my heart that year because i had big dreams for myself big aspirations and stuff and god was just like that is not part of my plan for you and it took me so much spiritual maturity to actually learn these things that we can make the plans but god has a different plan for our lives and we need to be okay with it like we need to be okay with it because Recently, I've really learned the importance that the decisions that you make are not only for you, but there is a bigger generation that is on the other side of your heart, yes, that you give to God. And think about Moses' story. Like, the Israelites were crying. That's a whole nation. Crying to God to get them out of Egypt under the oppression of Pharaoh. 
and God raised a deliverer in Moses trying to get that hard yes from him even though Moses was like God bro I can't even speak <laughs> like I stutter you know God was just like don't worry don't worry about that you know what I'm saying like all, I've just reached a point of being okay with what God wants for me because I know that on the other side there's a whole nation waiting on me to say yes literally it might not be now of course but obviously practically thinking about the bible <laughs> that's where my short story starts um that has literally what has been happening in my life cool no stress now this is where the story starts oh child i've always been passionate about tech and i've always been looking for an opportunity to be in tech if i had to choose between that and accounting i would choose that so there was a time where at work um like i said i've been going through difficulty and there was a point where i got tired i'm chilling minding my business i remember um this and i ended up getting a text from some recruiter right <clears throat> i get a text from a recruiter hi i'm this particular person they introduce themselves to me they basically get to the point point of the story is that this person tells me they're looking for a table manager and stuff like that me reading this i'm like hold on <laughs> did this person make a mistake like you know and this person was just like um your profile would basically be the best for this particular thing now i'm literally sitting with my sister and i'm literally like dude look at this you know like i'm literally like screaming in my head like i'm going through a difficult situation i was like god take me out of this i get this and i'm like perfect time so my sister reads this and she was just like okay like respond back and basically tell this person to send you the details whatever the case is i respond back ask this person to send me the details and yeah this person sends me the details the job spec and then tells me um tell me let me know if you're interested whatever the case is i end up looking at this job spec and basically to sum it up um this company was looking for product analytics developers yes that's what they were looking for i think they're called table managers that's what they call them but yeah i started really researching this job and stuff like that and i even forgot <laughs> i even forgot what those people do but i know for sure that it has something to do with tech and i thought to myself how crazy is this like you know field of work to some extent but has to do more with tech and i remember telling my best friend about this and she was like dude i know that the money there is good <laughs> i know that the money there is good right so i was just like mm, i'm really thinking maybe i should actually do the interview whatever the case is like now i'm just at a point where mm, i actually don't know if i should do this you know like i don't know if i should take this opportunity i don't know if i should tell this person if i'm interested or not like i don't know what to do you know like in my mind i'm just thinking i'm just like oh god but i also don't want to stay here not that i don't want to stay here but it's just like the situation makes me not want to stay here so it's just like mm, let me think what am i going to do should i do it should i not should i take it should i not you know what i'm saying like i'm literally like my mind is just all over the place like i'm literally daydreaming about this like should i do this should i not should i take it should i not like i'm at that point so while all of this is happening my sister says you know what dude um since you don't know what to do rather rather she tells me that rather you literally send a response to this person attend the interview and basically see the offer that these people are giving you see if you know it's better than where you are and then make a decision from there basically but you obviously can't make a decision now because you're just gonna be like mm, i don't know mm, should i do it should i not and i was like actually that's a good idea if you rather do that and i promise you i'm a person who always prays for the spirit of discernment each and every single day of my life right every single day whether life is going good whether life is going bad every single morning when i pray i pray for the spirit of discernment because i don't know what's ahead of me during the day like i don't know what's going to come my way and god knows because he's way ahead of me so all of this is happening and i promise you guys every single time I wanted to text this recruiter back to say you know what i am interested in this offer 
let's do the interview like schedule me for the interview my discernment will always kick in my spirit will always tell me do not entertain that like don't entertain it do not text back don't do it and so i thought i'm not gonna do it god <laughs> i ain't doing it okay i'm not gonna do it i am gonna sit here and i'm gonna wait on you god and i shall listen to what you're gonna tell me life goes on my situations get worse i get angry again obviously i have a plan now i could literally exit and every single time i'm just like oh. <laughs> like i would literally sit with myself and i'm just like god please i'm i swear let me just do an interview that's the least i could do like a little bit just you know what i'm saying like it's not a big deal let me just do that and then see god tells me do not dare do it like don't entertain it leave it at that till this day guys i haven't responded <laughs> till this day and i was just like you know what i'm gonna walk in obedience and i just really want to speak about the hardship of walking in obedience because at the end of the day like i tell you guys my life i could tell you that for free everything that i have right now is everything that i never wanted you know i did not imagine my life like this like that is the honest truth like we have big plans for ourselves you're always going to think oh i'm going to become a chef nothing to take you know i'm just going to work for this company and whatever the case is then god comes and he's like no nope. you find yourself being a director of something i don't know you know and then you end up being so good at it and everyone wants to associate themselves with you by the time you know it, you're getting signed by big companies because people recognize the favor on your life and the blessing on your life then they want to work with you because they recognize the favor on your life the same thing that happened with joseph potiphar gave all his belongings to joseph because he recognizes the favor that was on joseph's life it doesn't say the bible literally does not speak about potiphar being a believer or not we don't know but one thing that i could tell you for free is that whether a person is a believer or not they recognize the favor upon your life and that favor i feel like one of the ways to obtain that favor from god is if you walk in accordance to what god has called you into walk in accordance to your calling walk in obedience and i feel like for me there's so many sacrifices that need to be made in order for you to walk in it and like i'm saying this really consists of giving god a hard yes i'm literally telling you guys because i know that everything that i have is things that i've never wanted in my life but one thing i could tell you for free literally gave god a very hard yes end of 2022 actually i gave god a hard yes and i literally told god that god if this is what you have ordained over my life i will do it because i reached a point where god was just blocking all the doors that i literally wanted him to open on my life you know i literally wanted to be in banking i don't know if i told you guys this okay well the story time is still going to come through but i literally wanted to be in banking and the crazy part is that god kept shutting every single door that involved that and that was the heartbreak that i'm telling you guys about when i tell you that god broke my heart in 2021 he broke my heart and i feel like it took spiritual maturity to start accepting that you know what dude this is not it's not that it's never gonna happen but right now this is not part of God's plan over your life. And I started walking in obedience. And one thing that I could literally tell you guys is that I never imagined my life to be like this. Because I've reached a level of contentment and favor so much so that I just stepped into what God has called me into. And I just became so good at it. Like, good. Like, you know when you start flowing in something. And to not say that I, I know it all, I'm perfect, whatever the case is. I need to be taught and the Holy Spirit has taught me you know I've learned things in yay the fastest period like in four months guys I knew a lot <laughs> like I knew a lot and obviously there's a downside to it because I feel like that comes with a lot of burden <laughs> he will teach you and what I'm just trying to say is that at a certain point that's why the Bible says delight yourself in the Lord and he will make your crooked path straight Yes, I think it makes that's what the Bible says. A few moments later. <laughs> it actually says, Delight yourself in the Lord 
delight yourself in the lord and he will give you the desires of your heart and i feel like it took me so much time to actually understand the verse and the context of it because it doesn't mean if i delight myself in the lord that god will give me what i want over my life that's not true when you delight yourself in the lord the god change god changes your desires he literally changes the things that you desire and what you desire for yourself changes and what god desires for you is that what is planted in your heart so you find yourself going after what god desired for you so the more you delight yourself in the lord and the more you commit to the lord the more he gives you desires that he has for you in your heart and now you both walk in unison to obtain the things that God has desired for you and also the second thing that I have experienced well that's the first part obedience truly spoke a lot about it but it's so important to actually walk in obedience guys because I feel like once you actually start walking in it like you need to be a person who's not easily tempted like you need to that's why they say uh, withstand the temptation basically I'm, I'm paraphrasing <laughs> okay but if you withstand the temptation the devil flees from you so i feel like if you're a person who does not walk in obedience and you don't open up your heart to receiving the lord you start being so strong in the desires that you want over your life and when that that doesn't happen it's like a perfect opportunity for the devil to make you his playground I swear because you're gonna find yourself swinging anywhere and everywhere you're not gonna have a backbone or like strong foundation to stand on because there isn't any there literally is not any until you find yourself surrendering all these things and you walk with God and then it's a new thing like it's a new journey and honestly today was a perfect day at church like I saw so many young people um, declaring that they want to make God their Lord and Savior and this is young people like I was so happy I was so happy I was just like guys let age not be a determining factor of wanting to change your life around I'm li literally I literally got baptized at 24 and for a lot of people would be like oh you're so young for that and you could literally think that's like such an old person thing <laughs> you know I'm still 24 by the way <laughs> I'm still 24 but um that's the best decision that I've ever made in my life that's literally what I want to tell you guys that a lot of these things when God tells you to do something we always think okay God but let me mess up one more time like let me do everything that I want to do then you will forgive me for my sins and then you and I can start a fresh thing and life is not about that guys not that God will hold you will hold anything against you but all I'm saying is that when God knocks in your heart, make sure that you answer and that you allow him. And don't hold on or hold on to other people's stories when they say, oh, God is not real because of X, Y, Z. And now you find yourself flowing and being blown by the wind. You're literally a paper. You have no form of, you know, you literally like a paper. Today, like when I saw those young people declaring that they want to make God their Lord and Savior, my heart was so full because I'm just like, this is actually so beautiful to witness. And God is about to do a new thing. I literally like prophesied over this year that God is about to make a new thing. He's about to do a new thing. Can you not see? Can you not see? Don't say I didn't tell you. God is about to do a new thing in your life. And I hope you claim it. The part that I actually experienced a few weeks later from that story, a few weeks later, um, God literally told me on the 13th of Feb to further my studies, right? Um, and I remember praying to God and I was like, God, I don't have funding. I don't have money. <laughs> I don't have a job. <laughs> you know, at that time, and this was 2022, I literally thought to myself, I don't have anything, God. <laughs> I don't have money. I don't have a job. <laughs> I don't have anything. <laughs> and the most important thing that I've actually learned and I feel like this is actually one of the things that has made my faith grow beyond measure is the fact that I've realized from that moment to not let my circumstances define what God is telling me. Whatever God is telling me, that word is not tied into my current situation. Yes, everything right now looks impossible, but it does not mean 
that God will not do it. I remember I had a prayer this one time when I st I was wrestling with God and I was just like, actually, I'm not going to further my stay. I'm, I don't want to be in a country, whatever the case is. And I remember when I, after a hard, long fight that I've had with God of not wanting to do this, I gave God my heart, yes. And I literally told God, God, I will do everything that you have told me to do. And I don't want to do it, you know, but I'm going to do it, you know. I'm gonna do it because you have a greater plan over my life. You created me in your image. You know me better than I know myself. You know my capabilities more than I do. You know every single version of myself that I have not tapped into. You know what my assignment is. You know what my purpose is and you know very well what you're calling me to do at this present moment ties into the bigger picture of what you have created me for. So I remember giving God a hard yes and I told God that God, if you give me a job, and I pray God that you may give me a good salary and I promise you God that with that money I will go back to school and one thing that I want to tell you guys is that God is not an idiot and God is not a fool whenever you make a promise to God make sure that you fulfill it because it is so unfair of us to continuously think and try to manipulate God to give us what we want knowing very well that we're not going to do out the end well, we're not going to do our part when we made that commitment to God. There's a bigger and, a, and such an important... Guys, I feel like when you get the time, study the Bible and read the importance of a covenant. Read the importance of being in covenant with God. Read the importance of it. Like, read it. And read it and understand it. But what I'm just trying to say is that don't be those people who want to trick God into giving you something, knowing very well that you're not going to do your part. God is not like man. Yes, man, don't see. If you trick me, there's nothing I could do. But this is a God that we serve and God sees everything. And mind you, whatever it is that God has given you, he can take it back because it all belongs to him. It's just like God giving you money and you become greedy with it. It doesn't belong to you. It belongs to God. And I did exactly that. So I started enrolling for school. And because I feel like the devil just knew the power <laughs> that is gonna come out of me stepping into what god has done remember the thing with the devil is that he's always after god's word he's not after you there's literally nothing that you could literally offer the devil if he's spitting <laughs> like there's nothing <laughs> but because of god's word over your life that what that's exactly what makes you everything god literally says my word shall not return to me void it means that whatever it is that God speaks, it shall be done. Like his word has already gotten there. And that is why like we find ourselves so depressed, confused, stressed out, saying God is a liar and calling him a fake. The honest truth is that you have put yourself something into, you've literally dived into something where God isn't. You've literally tried to force God's word to match your desires. And that's just the truth. But anyways, I'm not going there with that. And all for school. Um, with this application and then for some odd reason submitted everything was fine like when I made this application for some odd reason during my application process they kept telling me that I needed to re-upload my documents because they're blurry like I literally got a call when I was at work and they told me please re-upload this because it's blurry what? <laughs> last time I checked that was fine I had to re-upload it I sent it through and they were just like okay your application has moved forward you know with the i don't know what they call that department that evaluates um applications and then they tell you if you're rejected or whatever the case is accepted or rejected yeah so they told me that my application is basically back to those people forgot what they call them shortly after i get an email my application is back to square one there's basic my application just moved backwards again something is not in there was just all these problems with my application. This is not right or whatever the case is. There was always something with my application and I mean it. When I submit that particular thing they asked for, okay, my application moves forward and then my application moves backwards again. And I thought to myself, <laughs> you know when these things happen, guys, you never think about it being spiritual warfare or whatever the case is like the devil's literally targeting you at first like when you think about it because it's like now i've done everything you guys have asked me for but it's like this application is not moving forward like you know when you log into a portal and you're tracking your application and it's always at one step and it's never moving forward but it's always moving backwards and 
I thought to myself, like I think when they call me the third time, I was just like there's something wrong here. And I just really remember the power of God's word because God instructed me that you need to do this particular thing. And I literally thought to myself, and one thing that I could tell you guys, because God has said something, you'll always expect it to move smoothly. Like there will be no form of challenges, no form of stagnation. But because God said it, you always think everything is going to be smooth. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Oh, let me tell you. That is not the case. See, there's always going to be distractions that will happen in the process of you doing what God has instructed you to do. So that you could literally lose focus and you don't find yourself doing that particular thing that God has instru instructed you to do. It's like God tells you, catch a plane and go to Cape Town, for example. You're going to live there, whatever the case is. And then for some odd reason, there's a delay with your flight. And then you wonder, did I hear God incorrectly or something happened? when you're at the airport whatever the case is you know and you wonder did i hear god correctly maybe i'm crazy bro like maybe i'm losing my mind I promise you guys you're always going to experience those moments where you feel like i'm starting to go crazy or maybe i did not hear god correctly you're going to experience a lot of things that will force you to give up you're going to experience resistance that will make you pull out of what god has called you into third day when they called me Telling me my application is backwards. I was just like, mm -mm, the devil's trying me right now. And I feel like in the past in my life, before I actually like decided to accept the Lord as my savior. In the past, when those things would happen and I'd experience that resistance, I would always take it as a sign as maybe this is not meant to be. Like maybe I shouldn't even be doing this. Let me rather not do it. I swear, like I'd always take it as a sign as this is not meant to be. I should not do it. And then I'll just be like, oh, whatever. You know what? Never mind. Like, you know leave it doesn't matter we'll try again some other time but as soon as i grew closer to god i just truly re re like god reminded and i just saw the importance of actually using that as an opportunity to press inwards like in in like that is where you start praying and i remember that night i prayed guys like i had a serious prayer session and i started rebuking the spirit of stagnation i started rebuking <clears throat> like i literally started rebuking all forms of spirits guys like everything like even spirit of moab like i started re even spirits that had nothing to do with what i'm talking i started rebuking all of monitoring spirits your vengeance spirits stagnation hey guys i started being in serious prayer mode and i was just like god i am rebuking these spirits in the name of jesus stagnation has been broken that application is gonna move forward and i will be accepted in the name of jesus god you instructed me to do this and i did my part and i told you god that i am going to do this and i committed myself to doing it therefore this shall succeed because when we walk together god when you said to walk together they're in agreement so right now you and i are walking together so surely we are in agreement there's nothing that's going to come in between us i literally had a serious prayer session guys that night and i was just like this is bigger than me there's a spirit operating here that is bigger than me or bigger than the situation okay not bigger than me <laughs> definitely not bigger than me my pastor the bishop of my church always says when spirit when power meets power the lower power bows so definitely not bigger than me um long story cut short um i literally went into serious praying mode that night and when i tell you when i woke up the following day i got an email that i've been accepted for my program and i was like God, won't you do it again? And I truly want to use this and as an opportunity to tell you guys that when you experience resistance, please do not use it as an, as an opportunity to literally give up. And one thing that I want to tell you about 2024, the year to intensify your praying life. Because this year is going to be such an amazing year. But the reason why the year will end up the same is because you do not want to intensify your praying life. You guys think we're here to play hopscotch, hey? Like, I, I feel like when you are a Christian and you're walking with God, you literally walk passively. Like, you're just floating. And you think, oh, God will watch over me. I don't have to do much. This is no time to play. When this year started, I just realized my first time being at church this year, the first Sunday of this year, I literally realized the importance of intensifying your prayer. This is no time to be relaxed as a Christian. This is no time to be playing hopscotch and making deals and a treaty with the devil. This is no time for you to be entertaining monitoring spirits. This is no time for you 
to not hear God and not do what God has told you to do. God has told you to leave that man, to leave that woman, leave that friendship. But you're just like, oh God, but I love them. Oh God, but they've been my friend for 15 years. Hey, 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 hey. I am telling you right now, the reason why doors are closed for most of you is because you keep entertaining things that are so below you that is not even a joke. <laughs> I promise you guys, once you make that decision that I'm actually going to stop living my life like this today, your life is going to change for the better. And the only way God can open a particular door is because you're not allowing him. You're, you're literally tied to something that God cannot allow you to walk into that particular door because you're held so much into something that you cannot go forward with. You need to identify whatever that is in your life and surely the Holy Spirit speaks. If not, read your Bible. <laughs> if not read your bible open your bible pray and say holy spirit speak to me open your bible after that read what god says in the bible after that close it and pray to god and say god i am praying that you may reveal xyz in my life and when god reveals it to you please do not be so up 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 what's the word what's the word <laughs> what i'm trying just trying to say is that you get the memo this is the year the year has just started guys it doesn't really matter yes we already about to end with jan but it does not mean that because you're about to end with jan that means your year is done keep trying but this time intensify your prayer life do not be a lukewarm christian this year make the effort to go to church gather with other saints go to church and pray in the house of the lord like king david said that i shall live in the house of the lord until until when i nearly said until i die <laughs> paraphrasing scriptures something else <laughs> psalm 23 that the um king david said he will dwell in the house of the lord forever so as you navigate your life i pray that you literally move this year with god and i feel like that is the bigger decision that you need to make upon your life that you will intentionally walk this year with god that you will read your bible that you will find people that you can grow spiritually with people who will challenge you and people who will make an active effort to be your watchman people who will carry you when you do not have strength and people who will pray for you in your absence so i just truly pray that as you tackle life this year that you do not tackle it the same way you did last year let this year be a year of difference and the only way for it to be a different year or the year of difference is if you tackle it with the holy spirit if you decide to declare the lord as you as your savior and yeah let this be a fruitful year and literally attract people in your lives who are of the holy spirit and i feel like with this video i pretty much touched on the importance of discernment and do not ignore that voice when god speaks to you and tells you do this or do not do this don't think god you'll forgive me for my sins i'm sorry i gotta do this don't <laughs> when god tells you do not do it do not do it don't do it abide by the voice and stay in obedience walk in obedience and pray for obedience pray for grace and pray for god to help you to literally overcome temptation and literally pray that you will overcome resistance over your life that god will break all protocols over your life and that this year may be the year of favor and grace i literally declare this year to be the year of favor in the name of jesus but yeah, um, what I'm just trying to show you guys is that as a Christian, um, and especially when you are born again, that you experience difficult challenges, like life becomes so different. And I pray that God gives you fresh eyes and a different perspective, that as you take a life, you have fresher eyes to see and spiritual ears to hear. So that's literally how life has been. Pretty much going to give you guys updates. And yeah, this is obviously going to be a continuous series. But I pray that you have a blessed week and that this week you take God along with you and that you live in accordance to God's word and that you attract exactly what God has ordained over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And we say amen, amen and amen. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next Sunday with the week of the anointed. The anointed being myself because i'm highly favored and anointed child but anyways see you guys soon i hope you guys enjoyed the series have a blessed day tomorrow's monday let this year let this week be a success and 
this tech lit better. Let this be a week of productivity, of good news, favor, and blessings. Toodles. Bye.